Hello everybody and welcome back to Supertech Services. We have a special video for you today. It's a special request video on how to replace the transfer assembly on a Kyocera M3550 IDN. This also works for the M3650 and I believe the M3450, um, I believe. Alright, so just go ahead and open up the front cover like you see that I did there. And um, you can take the toner out if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and remove the... Uh, uh, the whole drum assembly and just pull it all the way back until it stops. If you want to, you can remove the right side clip, that one's missing there, and the left side clip and remove the entire drum assembly if you would like, but it's not necessary. Alright, I'm going to be doing this one handed with my cell phone here just to show you how easy it is. The roller I'm moving here is the transfer roller and that's what we'll be replacing but there's a guide right in front of it, a little black guide that you just need to move over to the left. So you kind of just put your hand there on the right side and just move it to the left as you see there and then just pull up. All right, so what you see now is the transfer roller and to get that out, we're gonna need a flathead. So let me just roll over here really quick and get my flathead. I'm just gonna put that right back here and you're gonna wanna put that underneath the gear right near where the collar is just like that and once again I'm doing this one-handed it's a little easier with two hands but you just want to pop up just like so all right now that it's popped up you just want to grab the transfer roller and slide it to the right gently and it'll pull right out and that's the transfer roller if that's all you're gonna do you can go ahead and reinstall I'll show you how to reinstall in a minute, but first I'm going to take off the uh, transfer grid. So you'll need a flathead with this as well. Uh, before you do the transfer grid, I'm sorry, uh, just go ahead and uh, clean those little collars there. Um, that will also prevent any squeaking. All right, so the transfer grid is just four little clips, just like so. That last one just popped out automatically, and then you can just pull that right out. And these last a really long time. I've only had to re replace these a couple times. So you can just kind of uh, clean it with some alcohol or blow it out. Uh, but uh, it is nice to pull off and clean. It does help with copy quality. Uh, to put back in, I'm just going to slide back in. Uh, just make sure it sits on all four of the uh, slots there, as you can see there. And once it's in all four, you'll kind of press it down and back at the same time and you should hear one or two clicks. You just kind of go over it again and make sure that it's completely snapped in place. Once you know it's fully snapped in place, you can get your brand new transfer roller. I'm going to be using my same old one here, but you can get your new roller. Make sure the edges are clean. Um, if there's any toner in, on the metal or on the uh, plastic guides, uh, it will squeak. So we're just going to slide it in like so on the left hand side first. And on the right hand side you're going to uh, lay it right on the collar. Now right where I'm at, I'm actually on the wrong spot and this happens quite often. And you'll see I'm going to press down here and nothing's going to happen. So when I press down to go click in, as you can see nothing clicked in there. That's because I was just off. So just move it slightly back, just make sure you're right on the collar then it'll snap in place. All right, so last step is putting the transfer guide plate back on. And this one's really easy. Just slide it back uh, in place. And now you're going to move it to the right. And once again, I'm doing this one-handed with two hands. It's a lot easier. Just going to slide it over to the right. And it snapped in place there. I'm going to snap it back out of place, just so you can see. And then snap it back in place. And then you can roll the transfer roller and just make sure that everything there is in place. Put the toner cartridge, drum cartridge back in. And that's our video for today, guys, on how to replace the transfer roller assembly on a Kyocera M3550. This also works on other models. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.